Ryan McCaffrey with IGN here to show you budget cuts, which is my favorite VR anything. Uh, I know that may seem like a bit of a backhanded compliment because VR has often been off to a bit of a slow start software-wise, but there's been plenty of good stuff in VR. This is by far my favorite thing so far. Uh, budget cuts, as you can see, it's a little bit portal. It's a little bit office space. It is super fun. It's very funny. It is uh, a game about moving through a very banal, boring office space that's populated by both non-hostile and hostile robots. Some of them are just doing their jobs, working, and some of them are out to kill you if they see a human. Now, uh, there is a demo of this on uh, Steam right now, if you have a Vive, and I highly encourage you, if you do have a Vive, please play that demo. Uh, this the demo came out two years ago when the Vive launched. That's when I got this game put on my radar. I said, this is, in this is incredible. I can't wait to see more of this. I've been keeping in touch with the developers, and they've just been developing, developing. The game's finally coming out on May 16th for the Vive as well as the Oculus. I haven't played it on the Oculus yet, but just because of the room sensors, uh, the room the awareness, spatial awareness, I would recommend playing this on the Vive uh, because you can do things like teleport up into open ceiling, like up into the ceiling. If you see a, a, a ceiling tile that's moved away and you can warp up there, and then you can like be down on your knees and be looking through the, the hole in the ceiling, and you can crouch behind desks and peek around corners. Here you're seeing uh, one of the assistants just typing away, Amber Martinez there, just Hello. the Amber Martinez the robot, just working. Uh, yes, you can kill the, the non-hostile robots if you're curious. Um, I don't know why you would, but I did try, and you certainly can. And as you can see, so you're walking around this boring office in space, and here's a hostile robot, and you can pick up things like scissors, like throwing knives. There's even a crossbow, though you won't see that in this video. And you can find these different sort of office supply sourced weapons with which to get rid of these hostile robots. You can see the scissors sticking out that you've hit it with, and there's the, you can drag the body around after you're done. And uh, what I love is, comically, you don't get a, an arterial blood spray when you hit someone in the one of these robots in the neck, but instead you get an arterial oil <laughs> spray that just spurts out. And so you're just sneaking your way through this office building and taking out these ro robots and trying to stay out of their way. And you know when you you throw you you shoot the the teleporter blob, the portal blob, and then when that lands, it opens up a portal window, so you can see you can you can sort of spy and see where how things are looking before you actually squeeze the controller on Vive to teleport there like that. Uh, but the reason that I am so in love with this game is not, it's definitely the sense of humor, definitely the gameplay. Like I said, this, this makes the best, one of the best uses of VR that I've experienced yet. And not only the headset itself and putting you in the space, but again, that those room sensors on Vive, like peeking around corners and hiding, crouching down behind, you know, uh, desks and stuff in an, in an office like this, as you're gonna sort of warp and duel with this robot around this column here. But this isn't a game that, it feels like a fully fleshed out game that's built for VR rather than something that's been adapted to VR or a series of mini games or little experiences. Like this is a whole designed proper experience uh, and I can't wait to play the rest of it again. May 16th, I've got it circled on my calendar. Uh, I've been waiting for a great VR experience. I'm hoping this is it. From what I've seen of it so far, it's definitely got the potential to do that. So as we duel to the death here with this hostile robot, uh, keep your eye on budget cuts. Download the demo if you have a Vive. And for more on all of the coolest VR stuff, you're already in the right place as this robot hobbles to its death. You're already in the right place right here at IGN.